today. <laughs> today is Trinity Sunday. <laughs> I want you to turn to page 864. 864. This is the creed of St. Athanasius. <laughs> <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> and this creed has been historically used on Trinity Sunday throughout the ages. Except in the Episcopal Church, because look how long it is. We would never get through it. People would get up and leave. <laughs> but I point this out to you because you probably didn't even know there are historical documents in our prayer book. And if you start to even try to read this, and the type is so small, uh, you will see that it goes on and on because what it's trying to do is define more succinctly than the Nicene Creed uh, what the Trinity is, who the Trinity is, how the Trinity is, where the Trinity is, and who cares. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of theologians did because the Nicene Creed came into existence before this, but then there was a heresy called Arianism and so they had to, who cares about that either? So, here's what I want to tell you. I want to tell you about one of my favorite creatures in the whole world, the very Reverend Alan Jones. When I feel, oh, I like to, I need to get back in touch with my faith instead of wanting to kick something, <laughs> I will listen to one of his sermons. And I have many of them on my computer and my cell phone. And so I can dial one up anytime and listen to it, and it will actually play instead of the alarm that didn't this morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, several years ago, uh, as I was listening to a, a series of his sermons, he started them off with um, a quote from someone who has now become one of my favorite theologians, Leonard Cohen. <laughs> Do you know who Leonard Cohen is? Mm -hmm. Yes, he wrote it on. Huh? He wrote in Hallelujah that everybody loved. He wrote Hallelujah. He also wrote something that's called Cancel. And I never heard of Leonard Cohen, but I was so fascinated by. Uh, Alan Jones starting this off and ending his sermon with this quote from Anthem that I had to look him up and I discovered that he was the one who wrote Hallelujah because um, I knew a different version of it or from a different figure and um, an Anthem and the quote that Alan Jones used was ring the bell that still can ring forget your perfect offering there is a crack, a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Wow. Yes. That's nice. Ring the bell that still can ring. Forget your perfect offering. Mm -hmm. We ain't got one. It's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. Well, you know what? Trinity Sunday and the Trinity is all about the light that gets in. Now, I don't know about you, but you probably haven't sat down and meditated and prayed on this holy trinity to understand how it works and how Jesus is in God and the Father and God is in Jesus and, and the Holy Spirit is. You know what? It doesn't matter a bit. What matters is the relationship between the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, God, each other and ourselves. That's what the Trinity is all about. And that's what we need to try to remember because that's how the light gets in. See, there's a crack in everything, including us. There is no crack, however, in the Trinity, except <laughs> the one that we can't figure out because we can't figure it out. And so it gives out the light. I love the hymn we just sang about light. 
I love the, the, the Genesis reading, you know, and God said, let there be light. And then it got repeated in the Genesis about creating the light for the day and the night, forgetting that God had already created it, but we have to say it again because we don't get it. We have to keep hearing it over and over and over until it becomes part of us, until the light actually can get in. Uh, when I was in seminary, I, I did a, uh, a class once a month at a local hospital at their, um, their place where people came who were addicted. They had an addiction section. Didn't matter whether they were addicted to alcohol or drugs or sex or whatever. What I talked about was spirituality because that's what they wanted me to talk about. Because if you know anything about 12-step programs, it's a spiritual program. It's about God. But not God as we define it in the Episcopal Church or the Christian Church or the Jewish, you know, Leonard Cohen was Jewish. He wasn't even Christian. Oh my God. that we have that 
theologian's idea of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, which came first, which came second. Who cares? We're only commanded to live in it, breathe it. 